Hey everyone, today's vlog is about what I am packing for our upcoming trip to Orlando, Florida. This is what is going to be going into my 22 month old's bag, including her clothes for each day. Essentials and toys. Luckily, Orlando is just a three hour trip north of us, so this will be a road trip. I'll include some of the items I brought for the car in the travel day video to show you how we organized everything to make it easy to access instead of digging through the bags whenever we stopped. And here is just the overview. We got the jackets, blankets, and PJs are in this bag. This is her upgraded toddler bag, aka overnight bag. Stuff for the bath. Clothes for each day, pool accessories, a wet bag, all of her toiletries, including a, an additional portable changing pad with storage for diapers and all the stuff that you need. We're going to be doing disposables instead of the cloth diapers just because of the heat. And I don't really want to do laundry while we're there just because of the pandemic and just to be safe but I did bring laundry detergent just in case we got two things of wipes which should last us and then her bag of shoes and then this was originally her overnight bag but now this is going to be the diapers and toiletry bag then a close-up uh we've got all of her Peppa Pig vacation toys in here this was the little kit that came with it. We got Elmo, Grover, and Cookie Monster. We got the bear backpack. Some coloring books. I gotta find the pen for this. I just saw it and I gotta go look for it again. And we got some markers. And then we got her travel day outfit here. And here's the checklist that I created. Which includes Stroller checklist for each day of the park because we'll need different things. So, a little bit of an update for our trip. Um, originally, we were supposed to be going to Disney and spending a couple days at Disney. Um, and we were, I got a really good deal with All Star Movies Resort. And then the pandemic happened and we had to cancel our booking. Uh, luckily, I did the package, and once I canceled it, I got a refund for everything. And I was like, okay, well, let's try again. And we decided that we were going to upgrade our stay. We were going to stay for the five days instead of three or four. Um, and then we were going to upgrade to the Caribbean Beach Resort uh, just because we liked the vibe of it. And, you know, and I changed all her outfits for everything, and I had done a packing video for that. And then they canceled everything again <laughs> and we missed it by a week because they're supposed to be opening Disney on the 11th, July 11th. And we were going to go the, the, the day we were supposed to leave or the day our trip ended was the, the next day they were going to open up the parks. So we canceled <laughs> and I had had enough. I was very upset with Disney. Um, I decided, I'm like, we still need to go on vacation, you know, we need to do a baby moon before the baby comes. I bring Sister Bear out somewhere, you know, just to, just to do something with her while she's still an only child, technically. Um, and I was like, well, maybe we'll do Bush Gardens, they're supposed to have like a Sesame Street thing over there. And then, uh, we found out that SeaWorld was going to open. And then I was like, all right, we'll, we'll still do Orlando. Let's just go to Gaylord Palms because we can do so much there. They have the water park open there. We can go to the water park that's there every day. And she'll love it. She'll have fun with that. And then we can relax. We can hang out at the hotel just to get away and do something. Um, and then I found out that SeaWorld was opening up. And then Aquatica opened up. So we booked tickets uh, for Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday is going to be SeaWorld, and Thursday is going to be Aquatica. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're staying up at Gaylord Palms for a week. We're staying Monday through Friday. 
uh, we're going to be staying at Emerald Bay, which is one of the nicer rooms and areas that you can book at the hotel. Uh, we got the whole package going, um, and we're not being endorsed. I just disclaimer: we're not being endorsed by anything, or you know, we're paying all this out of pocket. Um, we just wanted to go big because we don't know when we're going to get another vacation once the second baby comes. Um, so we're staying at Emerald Bay. We're going to be doing the water park at the hotel. And then Wednesday is SeaWorld. Thursday is going to be Aquatica. At Aquatica, we decided to do the all-day dining plan. And we also decided to rent a cabana there. So we'll help you out. I haven't seen any, or maybe I missed them. I haven't seen a lot of videos on how to get the cabana. There's not really a lot of information. I've been getting information on other sources rather than from Aquatica itself. I do have the confirmation. I think you have to just go in and check in and tell them and then let them know that you also have all day dining. So we'll definitely let you guys know how that is um, and whether or not it's worth it to rent it. You know, being seven months pregnant, I think it would be worth it. We get the fan, we get hopefully, maybe quiet, I don't know, it's a water park. Um, we get a nice shaded spot with a fan, we get the locker, and then we get the bottled water. And supposedly we get towels. Um, so we'll let you know whether or not it's worth it. Um, I'll let you know the breakdown of the cost and everything and what I paid while there. Pretty much that's going to be our trip. Um, the two days that we have booked for the parks, we had to make the reservations. But everything else, we're pretty much going to wing it. Um, as much as we can because uh, as far as dining we have to be careful with her because of her food allergies um, and we'll just let you know how everything goes and whether if you're on the fence of whether or not you want to book a trip to Orlando do something other than Disney and the Disney parks whether or not it's worth it with a toddler you know just just to take you along and see how everything goes but since I Love doing Excel and organizing everything. Uh, this just shows like the checklist so that we can go through and double check and make sure we've got everything we need. It's not going to show up. I'm going to have to redo that. And then even a checklist for each part for each day because that's going to change. But that's the checklist. And go through and once I pack the day before I think the night before we leave is when we throw everything into the car we go through the checklist again make sure we've got everything and then you can definitely just go through your bags one last time make sure you've got everything on this list it's really good to have a checklist because you will forget something you think you got it all you get everything in that car you check it you forgot the cameras also, for the tablet, um, I do allow screen time with her. Uh, this is going to be perfect for the road if she gets bored with I'm going to give her her books. I'm going to give her her toys. I'm going to give her the drawing first. But once that, and she's usually good with that for like an hour or so. Um, but eventually, she's going to get tired of sitting in the car seat. You know, we'll get out. We're going to take a break halfway up there and let her run around and stretch her legs. And just let her run around and stretch her legs and get the blood flowing. Um, but if we need to, we can do screen time on this. Also, I thought it would be a really good idea. I'm not sure if they allow them, but if we can bring this into like SeaWorld, this would be perfect as long as they have, I don't know if they have Wi-Fi there, or I can connect it to my own phone because I can turn my phone into a hotspot. Use this as the map instead of doing it on your phone and then switching between the phone and vlogging on and all that craziness. Just... Pull up the map on this and you're done. Okay. So for a quick overview of everything that will be going into her bags. Um, originally she had this unicorn bag, which was what we used last July when we went up. But she's since grown out of this bag. Um, I've also, I'm also no longer using the diaper bag that I was using for her. I have upgraded her to a toddler bag. And this toddler bag, it's a no boundaries bag. I got it at Walmart. It was $20. 
and it, it was perfect. And I love the, the blue and the white theme with the, the browns, you know, very beach vibey, very vacation vibey, and it was perfect. And I can fit all of the stuff that you see over here into that bag, all the toiletries and everything, and the diapers will be going into this bag. Um, as far as the basics with the diapers, I do cloth diaper, um, but I will not be cloth diapering on this trip. Um, she'll probably wear the cloth diaper when we're traveling, on the way home, just to give her a break. And I do have cloth diapers in the car at all times, just in case I decide to give her a break and want to change it up. I don't really like disposables, but considering it's going to be really hot, we want to relax a little bit on the vacation. I'm a little wary on doing laundry on vacation uh, just because of the pandemic. I don't know how safe it's going to be. I don't want to put bleach on my diapers just to make sure that when they're washed, they're clean and sanitized. Um, so I'm just going to take it easy and... Um, in the future, you know, we're going to have the little one coming. He's going to be in cloth diapers too. Um, and I think we're going to be doing a big trip where we go up to North Carolina and I will most definitely be doing the cloth diaper routine there. And I'll definitely share that with you guys, uh, depending on where we're at and what we're doing at that time. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over her, the five outfits that she has for the week. Um, I also have pajamas and blankets that I packed away. Jackets and sweaters are important. Shoes, accessories, toiletries, her diaper bag, which I briefly went over already. Um, toys and a car seat tray that I just recently purchased on Amazon. Um, I will, I think I might do a review on that. I have a video that I can put up um, if you want to see the unboxing for that. Um, and it's a tray that she can play with everything. It's got bumpers and she can stick her drink in it and it holds all her art supplies. And it was 20 bucks and it, it's really cool. It was easy to assemble and it's, it's sturdy. And then we also need to bring the pack and play. We're bringing two strollers. We're gonna bring the, well, the tank that you can see in our previous video that Daddy Bear fixed. Um, that one's the one that we're going to use at the parks. And then we got the lighter umbrella stroller that we'll keep in the hotel room just to throw her in in case we need to run downstairs or, or run to grab something right quick. Also go over snacks, drinks, her bibs, and her trays in this video. Um, and then for her strollers, I'll go over that in another video because that's a whole nother beast that we have set up for that. <laughs> for the travel day, I put together this outfit. This was actually supposed to be the outfit that she was going to, well, the shirt is Cinderella Castle. It says home on it. This was supposed to be for Disney. Uh, Daddy Bear ended up finding this on eBay and I felt so bad that he had gotten it and I'm like, okay, we'll do it the day we travel. So I'm going to pair that with this cute little squirt that I found at Macy's. This was $24. And the squirt looks like a skirt, but underneath it's got the shorts and it's made out of polyester. Polyester and 5% spandex. So very lightweight, very cute. And then pair it with the belt. Okay, so to start, all of her outfits, uh, I do have her travel day outfit actually out and ready. Um, and then I've got everything else separated into Ziploc bags. These are gallon Ziploc bags, and you can get them at any grocery store. I have it set up is um, I've got one bag that's for extra outfits. So like she has her travel day outfit and then if we decide to go out for dinner that night, I can change her into her one of these two outfits. We have a Tommy Bahama dress and a, it's actually a 5T shirt, but it looks...
looks cute as a dress on her. Uh, for Tuesday, which is just going to be either we'll go to Disney Springs or we'll go maybe Crayola Experience must be open. Uh, so maybe we'll go check that out. But this is for Tuesday. It's got a little cute Tommy Bahama shirt and shorts. And then a dress for the evening in case we want to change her into something for dinner. Uh, Wednesday is going to be our SeaWorld day. So um, I think because I think we're going to spend the majority of our time at Sesame Street. So um, I've got this cute little whimsical Tommy Bahama pink dress that has mermaids on it. And it has a matching bow. And then if we have to change her, she's got a nautical dress. Um, and this one's actually the same color as the dress that I'll be wearing that day. For Aquatica, not including her bathing suit, this is actually Jessica Simpson. And it's, it says My Paradise, and it's a shirt. It's a cute little shirt. And then it's got cute little shorts that you can wear. And then a cute little bow that she can wear. And of course, she's going to be wearing her bathing suit half the time. But So you'll see these each day. Outfits. Um, as far as shoes, I've got all of her shoes in this little mesh bag. Because um, you never know. I mean, certain shoes are going to go with certain outfits. But sometimes you decide to change your mind and you decide you want to wear something else. Uh, for SeaWorld, for that cute little, for the cute little um, mermaid dress that she had, I have, I've got these adorable Capellis that I picked up that have a mermaid print on them. For Aquatica, I mean, I've got so many things here either for Aquatica or for going down to the pool. I've got these knockoff, I got these at Walmart. Um, I've got these little knockoff Crocs and they have little starfish on them and they were really cute. So these are cute for just playing outside. Got some Carter's flip-flops. And then as far as dress shoes, just cute little brown little sandals that had butterflies on them. This would be really cute with the nautical dress. And these are all size 5 shoes. Um, these are Zoe, Zoe and Zach sandals that were really cute. These are actually pink. But I think we can get away with her wearing these with the red. And we can, I'm so excited. These were actually the first pair of shoes we ever bought her. We bought them at the Puma store. And she finally fits into them. And these are size 5 pink and silver Pumas. And they got the cute little ballerina lacing going on. And I love these. I'm so happy she finally is big enough to wear these. <laughs> Depending on where we're going or what we're doing. The mix and match. And the best thing is, is with them all being in this bag, I can just grab the bag and go. If I really need to. Um, as far as PJs, I've got all of her PJs. This is actually like, what is this? We bought this for when we went to Rome. It's a snuggy blanket that fits. It can be a pillow or it can be the blanket. Uh, so it's the bag for the blanket. Um, but I have all of her PJs in here too. And I've got her sweet little I got her cute little slippers for walking around the hotel room. So, opening it up, as you can see, I've got the blanket folded up inside, and this is for her. This is all for her. Um, 
when I bought this, I was actually pregnant with her. So it was for me originally, but now it's hers. This is her designated blanket. And then I've got two pairs of PJs in here. I've got a Tahari outfit and I've got a Dumbo. Or actually this is Winnie the Pooh. It's a Winnie the Pooh outfit. Uh, I do have one cute appropriate blanket. This is a mermaid tail blanket. I believe I got this from TJ Maxx, but just in case she's hanging out on the couch watching TV with us, you throw this on her. Cute for pictures. <laughs> and then we have her bath kit here. Uh, this includes a, I think there's just a robe and a washcloth that is a fish. So it's a fish-shaped washcloth. We haven't used this one yet. We used the frog with her because she loves the frog. Um, and then she's got her towel that's got bear ears on it. And then at the bottom, we've got her socks. So I just decided, originally I did have the socks paired with the outfit, but depending on whether the socks, you can reuse the socks and you can interchange them with the outfits. So I just threw them in here. And then this packing cube I actually picked up at Marshall's. It's part of, it's a three set bag and you'll see the other ones. Next, we have the jackets. Now, before you say anything, it's Florida, we don't need jackets, blah, blah, blah. I've lived here my whole life. There are places where it does get cold and you need a jacket, especially after being out in the sun all day. It can get cold. First off, the 2 T Jessica Simpson jacket, purple jacket, uh, just in case it rains at the park. I don't want my baby getting sick, so we got a jacket. And it might save her clothes, so we might not have to change her clothes. Um, second, uh, for SeaWorld, doing my research, I heard that the, the penguin encounter is actually freezing. Uh, and all I saw in the videos for that were kids going, it's cold. Um, so we got two jackets. Um, I think we might do the Bass Pro one. We grabbed this when we stopped at Bass Pro the other week. It's a cute little 2T jacket, just a basic jacket to throw on her while we're in there so she doesn't freeze to death. Um, and then for around the hotel, because from what I remember with the hotel, the hotel is pretty cold. And we've got just this cute little sweater. This was also purchased at Bass Pro. And this brand, it's got a little hoodie on it. It's super cute. And this is Outdoor Kids by Bass Pro. And I have some video of her running around in it, and she loves this jacket. Where's my baby? <laughs> hey! Hey! Hi! <gasps> Peekaboo! <Woo. laughs> also, for the uh, pool, we used this last time. Uh, this is a little flotation. This will probably only be using at the hotel. That's what it looks like. So we'll use this at the pool and it should keep her happy. You probably saw us using this at Tiger Tail Beach. Uh, she didn't seem thrilled. It had been close to a year since the last time we used it. But I think it was just because the water was cold. But we'll see. And this was purchased on Amazon as well. Alright. And then we have her bag for either going to the pool. Which is another one of the packing cubes. A wet bag. Um, and the hat is attached to this. So this is pretty much either going to the pool or the water park at the hotel. Or for when we go to Aquatica. You can see it's got like her blanket, 
shorts, a bathing suit, and some water shoes that I picked up. And then this towel is actually just like a regular dish or hand towel. It's a Tommy Bahama one, but I thought it was cute. So I packed that away. Um, we've got Nautica for water shoes. And we got a cute little, cute little glitter action going on there. And for after being in the water, she's got a cute little unicorn hoodie that she can wear to keep nice and warm. Just in case she needs them, board shorts. These are actually probably a little small on her right now. We'll have to see how it is with the bathing suit. Her bathing suit is Tommy Bahama, of course, because Mommy is obsessed with Tommy Bahama brand. And that's her top with the little ruffles. And those are the bottoms, so super cute. <laughs> um, and then I've got swim diapers. I did have the bike swim diapers, but she actually grew out of those. So I've got this pair, which is a part of um, one of the original ones that I grabbed. This is actually a reusable diaper as well, but it's got the mesh in it, so you can use it as a swim diaper. And then I just recently purchased this. This is a 24 months swim diaper that they had at Bye Bye Baby. And it's got the little flamingos on it. And it's super easy. And it's got the ruffles on the back. Super cute. Definitely not how I had it before, but it still fits and it works. And now it's a little bit different from what I had originally, but it still fits. So these packing cubes are great. Oh, and this is her hat with the flip-flops that she got from Grandma when we went to go swim at the pool the other day. So I think next, back to the diaper bag. This used to be her, this used to be her overnight bag. This is now her toiletry slash diaper bag. Uh, I think we'll go over the diapers first. Usually she goes through six to eight diapers a day. She's gotten really good at holding everything. Um, so I'm not sure how many disposables she's gonna go through, but I just went to Target. I got Up and Up brand. It was five bucks for a pack of what, 26, 36? Um, and then I've got them here. So I've got this bag, which I'm gonna keep in the car. If, either one, it doesn't matter. So I've got these two. Um, and I'll keep one of them. I think I'll do the plastic first. We'll um, go through this while we're in the car so that we have easy access to it. We can grab it. We don't have to go digging for all of her stuff. And then I've got all of these in her diaper pod, which is usually made for cloth diapers. And this one's by, if you're looking for the brand, it's by the Fluffy Penguin Company. I absolutely love that brand and I love that company. I get a lot of her cloth diapers from there. But this go around, we've got all the disposables in there. So with this, this will be easy to just throw under the the stroller or um, in the side saddle bag is I think I think is where we're gonna put them. Um, and it fits right in there. It's small, it's compact and if they gotta check it, all you gotta do is um, we've got the this is the wet bag for this. And I've got the wet bag for any cloth diapers that we may use along the way. Keep some in here, keep some the smell out. Uh, these bags I actually got from somebody that was giving them away in a Facebook group. It's cute, it's got little elephants in it. Oh, there it goes. As far as wipes. We're really good with wipes. These are the ones that are sitting around the house and they're almost empty, so I figure I'll just throw them in her bag so we make sure we actually use them. So this is her toiletry bag. And then in case we need to do any laundry, I've got these free samples here that I got for the, the new baby. Um, I use Arm & Hammer. I haven't really used Dreft yet. Um, but 
it's good to use to bring, or this is good to bring with you when you're traveling. It's the perfect size. It doesn't get in the way. So that'll be perfect for washing anything I need to wash. As far as traveling with the diapers, you've got the diaper bag that I showed you. And then this actually attaches, the changing pad is still in the car because I keep this changing pad, the big part, it zips. You can see that there's a part where it would zip on. I keep it in the car because sometimes I'd rather just change her in my car just because it's, we know the germs there. <laughs> so for the bag, this would actually attach. And inside I've got some wipes. These are part of the free samples that I got for baby boy. Um, so inside here, this is appropriately themed with Cookie Monster. And inside I've just got a small thing of water wipes and this up with some of the Mastella cleansing, the Mastella no rinse cleansing water. Um, I can leave a link of that below. Um, the description for it is ideal for in between bath time and on the go. Mastella no rinse cleansing water thoroughly and gently clean to baby's face, body, and diaper area. So we got that. It just slides right in on the, the side here. So I can just fill this up if I really need to every day. And it's got an extra pocket here. I can fit some diapers in there. But I probably feel more comfortable just bringing the diaper pod. It's just easier. And then on this side, I actually have a ton of her diaper essentials. Because with cloth diapering, I don't really need to use any of these ointments. It just, I've never needed to use them. Um, so I've got Desitin, just in case we have an issue. Um, another free sample butt paste. Uh, and then I've got the Up and Up brand Vitamin A and D diaper rash ointment. Diaper rash ointment, and that's up and up brand. It's the red one. And this was cheap. This was like two or three dollars. And just to have it because you know when you have your kid in the diapers for that long, it's gonna dry them out. So, um, and then I also have because our baby girl does have an allergy, just in case we come across any issues. We've got the allergy ointment. And we got the Benadryl liquid and the and the anti itch cream. And this, both of these are CVS brand. Well, due to the pandemic, we have not been able to get her EpiPen yet. Our next pediatrician visit, we were supposed to get that, and then we had to cancel it because of everything that was going on with the pandemic. You know, just being safe and vigilant that I realized that I have more trinkets here for her. I had it, but I bought a crest set with the toothbrush. I think I bought this when we were still going to Disney because uh, it's got Tigger and Pooh on it. So when I stopped at Bye Bye Baby, I let her choose her toothbrush, and she chose Elmo. I don't know if you can see it. I let her choose Elmo and Abby. So I'll bring both because I can use the toothpaste that's in it. It's fluoride-free, so it's safe for her. I do have a reusable bib. Not sure if we're actually going to use it because I went ahead and I bought the disposable ones just in case we go out to restaurants. I have a placemat and then the bib uh, for when we go out to restaurants. We can just throw it away, forget about it. Um, also for restaurants, we do have a portable high chair that I would like to bring with us and it folds up. It'll fit right under the stroller and it's safer and cleaner than using the chairs that they have there, uh, especially in the pandemic, it's safer. Uh, we have antibacterial wipes, got the hairbrush, 
tiny little hairbrush. Um, I've got a little bit of medicine in here, uh, just in case she gets any mosquito bites like mommy. This is really good to use. Of course, go to your doctor first, ask your pediatrician as long as it's safe. Um, but this was left over from when she had her rash and it's really good for treating bug bites as well. Okay, um, I do have cotton swabs. I'm gonna put with my stuff now because I actually have this, which I got at Bye Bye Baby. It's the little bear pick. And one side is good for cleaning their ears. And then the opposite side is good for cleaning their nose. And it's, it's safe because with the edge here, it doesn't go in further than you want it to. And this is a great, I mean, this is, I think, $10 at Bye Bye Baby. This is so worth it. This is something I definitely recommend that you purchase. And then we got all her bath and lotions for her. We got, we were originally going to do this for Disney, but... We gotta go through it. So she's got the H2O Disney Bar and Body Lotion. We got these when we stayed at Old Key West. Uh, we got some princess band-aids in case we need them. Uh, sunscreen. I've got the Sun Sunbum 50. I've got Neutrogena that I bought. I just recently purchased the Aveeno Kids, Aveeno Kids 50. Um, I'm not happy with the sticks. The sticks aren't that great, and I end up using these for myself anyway. But I really like the lotion better than the sticks or the spray. It just it feels like it does a lot more coverage for her skin because she's like me. She burns the second you walk outside. And I also have the other sunblock that I bought when we went to Zoo Miami because I forgot all this stuff because I had put it aside because I wanted to pack it. So I forgot to put it back into the car. I forgot that it wasn't in the car. And then as far as more soap, we had the Cetaphil. This was one of the free samples um, that I opened up to try. And Cetaphil smells really good. This soap smells, oh, it smells really good. Finally, our final packing cube. This contains all the other essentials that she would need for her trip. And finally, we have for lotion, and I love how she colored all over the, even the lotion. She's really into coloring right now with the crayons, so I'm finding crayons color everywhere <laughs> even on my phone even on my phone um but we're gonna do the sun bum everyday lotion this smells really good this has that coconut smell that i love um we've got some leftover avino baby which is good you know just in case and then i will probably bring um i will probably bring Aloe. And I'll probably bring some of the aloe lotion just in case she gets a little red. But I like using this. Aloe is good as long as you do 100% pure aloe. That's safe to use. And that is it. So now that I have more stuff, I have to try to pack it all back in here. I just push the air out. all the lotions and stuff back in the bag and she just woke up from her nap even though she didn't have a nap she's been up the whole time so I do what's called what I call quiet time and she just has to stay in her room for an hour and give mommy a break oh and I totally forgot she can bring her little mirror camera infinity mirrors and then this doubles as a hairbrush and she loves playing with this thing um and I got this at Target I think it was like three dollars or something 
And then finally, washcloths. These things are great. They're totally worth it. And now, everything's nice and snug back in the packing cube and not slipping around. So that's it for the clothing, her essentials, um, toiletries, diapers, jackets, shoes, and bathing suits. Um, and then the last thing is her toys. <laughs> yeah, I love you. So as far as toys, uh, we wanted to try to keep it minimal. But with a toddler, you want to keep them entertained when you're not out doing things. So as far as toys, we have <laughs> Tickle Me Elmo. Tickle his feet. And then we have Cookie and we have Grover that we're going to bring with us. So we got the trio. So we need Big Bird and Snuffleupagus. Uh, this is great. This is a little backpack um, that doubles as a leash, which would be really good. Now I know a lot of people don't like these. I'm okay with it because in a lot of the parks, you can't bring the stroller, but you can put the bag on the child and give them a little bit of freedom, a little bit of independence. They're not going to run from you, especially when you're seven months pregnant and you want to keep them close to you at all times. This, I think, is really good for giving them a little bit of independence. And it's really good. I got this at Bye Bye Baby. And it comes with a zipper. So you can throw little snacks in there if you need to or a juice box or something if you want to. So these aren't all that bad and it's much better than having to carry them all the time they can walk they're not screaming because they don't want to be held i think it's worth it as far as other stuff i have this little box this was originally for a foam uh farm but i decided to throw but i decided to throw all of her little toys in here we got or i ended up picking this up at Burlington when it reopened. So this is like one of those advent calendars where every day they can open up a new toy. We didn't wait. Um, and she gets a little toy for each day and then it's got like a little play area that she can play with, play the toy or put the toys on and play with them and do a little scene. And then Daddy Bear ended up getting her a set. So as you all know, we're into Peppa Pig right now. And then we got the family vacation Peppas. We got Daddy, Daddy Pig, Mommy Pig, George. Somehow or another, we lost all of our Georges, and this is the only one we have left. And there we go. <laughs> Little Peppa with her hat. With the Advent one. The Advent one, it came with little toys, like a little tidal pool with the crab. Came with the sand castle, the barbecue, and a surfboard. All the pigs actually have like little holes on the bottom of their feet. So daddy, daddy pig can go surfing. Daddy pig, mommy pig, Peppa, and George. So, it'd be really cute. I gotta find Susie's sheep. I let her play with Susie's sheep, so I gotta make sure that I get that. But, we got all the friends. We got Emily Elephant, Gerald Giraffe, Danny Dog. Or is that Pedro Pony? Nope, that's Pedro Pony. Pedro Pony and Candy Cat. And this one and Susie's sheep are her favorite. We got some random crayons. We got the markers. These I definitely would recommend watching your child with because she tried to chew off the tip of that. They're non-toxic, but it's still very scary as a parent that your child wants to eat everything that's non-edible. But these are the special markers that um, they, came, they came with a Peppa Pig art set where it only colors on the paper. It doesn't color on the walls or anything. These are something I definitely recommend before getting crayons or getting markers because it's going to end up everywhere. 
We do have regular markers, it's fine, because um, it'll be in the car. Um, and I also have dry erase uh, markers, which the, the table that I got for her car seat, you can actually draw on it with dry erase markers. So I do have those, I can pack those away for her. Um, I gotta find the pen for this, but this is one of those water pen kits where it only colors on this. And of course with that, as I told you and warned you before, crayon is gonna end up everywhere. I mean, it's fine because it's an art thing and at least she's coloring on this, but it will end up everywhere. Be Frank, you come say hi. You get your you get your two peppas. You got your twin peppas. <laughs> Hi. And then I've got a regular coloring book for her. And this I got at Target. I think it was like five bucks for this. And that is the extent of her toys. So, um. <laughs> Why don't you come over here, baby? Come here. You got your twins playing in the the baby seat or the stroller? The pram. Are they playing in the pram? Is that what they call it? You got your twins in the pram? Uh, so that's the extent of her overnight bag and her diaper bag and all the stuff that I'm going to be bringing for the hotel and for the days at the parks. Um, also, I'm going to go over a little bit for the snacks that I'm going to be bringing. Originally, we were going to make sandwiches and bring the sandwiches just to try to save a little bit of money. Um, but that was the whole idea with Disney because I know you can spend a lot of money on Disney. Um, but what I'm going to do, I think we're going to actually eat at the parks. We have the all-day dining for Aquatica. Um, for SeaWorld, we're going to go ahead and just eat there. Um, I know that they have allergy-friendly restaurants there. Um, I'm hoping that we can dine underwater with sharks. That would be really cool because that's their designated allergy-friendly restaurant. Um, so as far as snacks and milk for her, because she still is, she's starting to come off the milk. She doesn't really like it. She'll drink chocolate milk, so it's the only way to get her to drink it. Um, but I will be bringing some milk with me and I'll show you how I put that away. Um, I don't know if I'm going to include it in this video or if I'll just do it in another video separate. Uh, maybe for the travel day once we get everything into the car because um, then I can actually pour everything into those containers. So I'll probably do it in an upcoming video. And let you guys know but that's pretty much the extent of everything that will be going into her diaper bag if you have any other comments or tips anything I might have missed uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and I will bring you more we only got a few days left till our trip hey you gonna go see Elmo and Big Bird? Come here. Are you running? Are you running? You say hi. Who's that? Hi. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, you got your twins. You got your twins with the pram. Are you so excited? We got a few days left till our trip, huh? <coughs> yeah. You gonna go see Elmo and Big Bird? And you gonna go see all the animals? And don't mind that she's not in any clothes right now. It's like 100 degrees outside, so <laughs> we're dying. <laughs> the Elmo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Cookie? What about Cookie? Isn't that what you do? You go, they kiss? <laughs> like mommy and daddy's bed, huh? Yeah. You are so cute. I can't wait to take you to SeaWorld, baby. It's going to be so much fun. What do you think? Are you excited? Say, yeah, yeah, mama. She's playing with her little... <laughs> you leaning on Elmo. I think Elmo's tummy. You 
you playing with your papa? Hi, you beautiful. You got belly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go see. Oh. Cookie. You want to see Cookie or Rover? Or Elmo. Okay, bye. So here's just a quick overview of the snacks and drink situation that we'll have going on. Um, we will stop and grab some ginger, ginger ale on the way up uh, just to have some soda in the room. We do have chips that we'll bring. Um, as far as snacks for breakfast, I mean we can always go down because we get the $50 resort credit. So we can go down for breakfast or something. Um, but we'll bring oatmeal. She loves oatmeal, so I can eat this and share it with her. Uh, we have a little cereal thing here. I can store some milk in there. And she can have her cereal in the morning. Uh, we've got some extra containers of the Mott's applesauce and mixed fruits. We've got three more days worth of cookies, so she'll get pretty much one a day for this. A spoon, because they won't have kid-sized spoons. Um, this is granola. This is um, birthday cake flavored granola, which is actually free of... Really? Really? Which is free of the seven top seven allergens. This is two scoops of chocolate milk to get her to drink her milk. Uh, we got some leftover muffins. This is by Baker's Treat. Confetti cake. These, I think we got at Aldi's. They are absolutely delicious. And these are uh, nut and peanut free. Um, as for the milk, I plan to fill up these containers because these are eight ounces each and I need I only give her 16 ounces of milk a day now of whole milk so I've got four of these and I've got two glass containers that I can fill up so that should be enough for the for the week and finally we have the what is happening right now you doing the the milk vacation dance what is happening? Amber! You're nuts! You're nuts! But I love you. You're nuts, but I love you. <laughs> um, so for the stroller, um, for, a, uh, for SeaWorld, we're probably just going to bring Smart Waters, but if we bring any snacks, we have these containers, um, which contain the... Just more snacks for her. We're going to eat while we're at SeaWorld, but it's good to have snacks. Um, and then if we can, I'll probably just do one of these for her and then stick in a thing of milk for her. But yeah. So that'll be our little cooler bag for SeaWorld. For Aquatica, we may bring it, but I'm not sure because we will have all day dining, so I don't think we're going to need it. And this is just the bag to fit all the extra stuff in. And then we're just going to fit everything in this little cubby that I got from the dollar store. It's just easier to throw everything in one thing and then it's there. Can you tell everybody about your stroller? Yeah. Okay. And... This is pretty much going to be the setup for the stroller. This is the tank. I did a little printout for her to identify our stroller. It's got all the characters on it. Yeah. And then we got the fan that clips on. We got the mount for the action cam for our B-roll. I got two of these 
D-ring carabiners. Um, this was actually off of my motorcycle and I washed it, cleaned it up, and now it's a cup holder for her. For this stroller. And then as far as storage, we got the two cup holders here. We got extra storage here. We got a zipper here to hold any small items. And that's of course Daddy Bear's rig. Another holder. Another carabiner here. And then this is where I think we're going to put the diapers and stuff because it's nice and easy. It looks like it's insulated so it could always double as a, as a cooler. I think these are insulated. But we're going to stick the diapers and the wipes for the day in these. This has a second zipper here. And then we got the little butterflies and the dye in there. We got the cool access from last time. And then we got this cooler bag that I got at Burlington for when we were supposed to go to Disney, but we're not going to Disney now. And then this is another one of the cooler bags. I don't think I have anything in here. It's just the... Yep, just another one. So they gave these to me. These are actually breast milk storage bags, but it works. It's a cooler. Now we don't need to buy a cooler. So that's the So that's the overall setup of the tank for the park. Hopefully it'll keep her cool. What do you think? You excited? You ready to go? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're excited, huh? I'm excited for you, baby. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna have so much fun, huh? Yeah, you're gonna have so much fun at the park. Yeah. <laughs>